I'm thinking. Last time I also thought like that. We don't do Christmas anymore, and then I don't know. People like it. You know, it feels special, like Christmas with a bit beautiful lights and good food. And don't know. I don't know what to do for the best. Some people are sick, and I don't feel good. I don't feel good when they are sick, and also because cold, so they don't make the air circulation. It's cold, so they don't open doors and all that. Also, we cannot have everything. What to do? Then you go India, find a big master, have big temple, <laughs> or go some uh, Buddhist temple. They have big temple. Uh, other <laughs> Christian, uh, big church everywhere. Just yeah, go there and meditate. Why do you come here? I cannot afford everything. I could, but I don't like to borrow money. I don't like to invest to make more money. I just earn my money slowly and by our own effort. You could also invest and have much more money, but I, I don't like because sometimes the money come in, not clean. Okay, huh? Yeah, not clean from the bank. They cannot always check out where the money comes from. That's why I, I did not invest to have more money. I could have done that, but I don't want it. If your master doesn't want money, what else does he want in this world? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't want husband, doesn't want children, doesn't want money. What else he want? Huh? <laughs> Something not right <laughs> in the worldly sense. We could invest money, you know. I know all that. I just did not do it, and I still won't do it. So we just uh, put up with it. Oh, or you go find big temple, big empty churches, sit in there, meditate, do retreat yourself. Don't come bother me. Huh? I have to worry about many things. Hmm? Or you live longer, outlive me, and then after I die, there be a big temple. No time. Okay? <laughs> in no time, no problem. It's Sikhism. For example, Guru Nanak Ji, when he was alive, he walked bare feet in the forest. He doesn't even go out for arm. He eat the berries and something on the way. And now he has a golden temple, Amritsar, huh? right? Huh? You wait and see. <laughs> you just outlive me, <laughs> then you have golden temple maybe. Or could be upgraded to diamond temple, who knows? <laughs> yeah, when the Buddha was alive, you know, he has only one place or two places, a disciple offered to him, and now he has temples everywhere <laughs> when he doesn't need it. Jesus, when he was alive, he, he had just uh, some simple clothes, a walk bare feet, have nowhere to hide, even nowhere to rest. And now, see, church is everywhere. Oh, bigger than you imagine. Some of the churches take more than 100 years to build, and it's still lasting. Hmm? So if you complain, then you just have to live longer. <laughs> I'll to live your master, and then you will have temple, churches, or whatever you have. Sure, for sure. <laughs> and they will worship you because you are senior disciples. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry, yes. But I don't feel like making more money and building houses. Hey, just bear with it. Oh, we have to make retreat in a warmer climate. This is a cold season, and they have flu in this season. I really love to have retreat with you. It seems like we get closer together, even though we're always close in the heart, in the spirit, but... Somehow, when you come here, I see you, and you are happy. That makes me feel very happy, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even though I work harder, yeah, and everybody else also work harder, but... Uh, Taiwanese kitchen people, do you prefer not to have retreat because you have to work harder, hufa, and all that? Anybody don't like... Retreat, raise hand. <laughs> no? Don't have? 
Okay. You won. Huh? What can I do? I'm alone. How can I win over you? I'm the, really the minority of all the minority. <laughs> I always lose. <laughs> I even lost to my dogs too. They're also majority. I'm always minority. <laughs> my dogs always win. Yeah. One of my dogs is uh, supposed to be uh, losing weight a little bit, nah? but whenever he see me, he can always extract more from me, you know. <laughs> more food, more veggie bones, more love, more whatever, until he went to sleep, yeah. <laughs> then I don't see, have to see his eyes anymore, then <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> yeah, dogs, they can get into your heart and your head. <laughs> they know uh, what it needs to get what they want. <laughs> but they're also very uh, compromising. Yeah, they always tell me, don't worry, it's okay. Mm. If I don't see them, it's not too bad. If I see them, I love them more. I don't know why. <laughs> if they are far away, not far, but I mean the same vicinity, just a different quarter. If I don't see them, then out of sight, out of mind. I don't really miss them that much, but I feel sorry you know, for them and now and then. Like in the retreat, I can only see them now and then and one small group at a time. And then if I see them, then I cannot help it. I love them so much. <laughs> yes. And if I don't see them, it's okay. <laughs> it's funny. Huh? Okay then. Uh, ah, I tell you also about the vegetable. Yeah, now that I remember. So I don't have to wait until tomorrow. Because you might be nagging me all night long. <laughs> I told you we have to be grateful to all the things we eat, no? Even the tree gods, the plant gods, the vegetable gods. They do have God. They do have the spirit that God over it. Make sure they grow well. Lend the energy so then they can survive in different weather and maybe shortage of water or nutrition. But of course, they need nutrition, yes? But without the spirit, guardian spirits over them, they won't grow. They won't grow that good, okay, or not at all. Among you, among, uh, you know, those who work close to me, like, for, for example, uh, the God, yeah? the God here, the Hufa, they are not just physically a hufa. They also have their own job, yeah, in the <laughs> spirit world. Yeah. I didn't check all of them, but I know some of them are a guardian spirit of watermelon, yeah, a watermelon spirit, and we have a <laughs> pineapple god, <laughs> even alpha fast spirit <laughs> god, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not kidding. Just because one time I had something to do with them. So I just checked what else I can do. And then I discovered there are also some kind of God, <laughs> like watermelon or... A watermelon have many kinds even. Yeah. One of the God is the God of these the red watermelon, but not the yellow one. So therefore, when he's around, I eat only the yellow watermelon. <laughs> I don't eat alfalfa. Uh, when one of my assistants to take care of dogs, she's gone. Well, she's a guardian spirit of pineapple. The kitchen heard the wind that I don't eat pineapples. So, so they never gave me a pineapple for a long, long time. And yesterday, or the day before, I was uh, having dinner with the Vietnamese or the other country citizens, and uh, they don't give me the kind of uh, fresh fruit drinks. I said, why don't I have that? They told me, oh, Master, we heard that you cannot have pineapple, so we don't give. I said, oh, no, before, now I can. <laughs> yeah, and then I haven't seen alfalfa for a long, long time now. I could have now, okay? It's different timing, so I forgot to tell them, yeah? And sometimes there are spirit of apples, for example, yeah? You heard of the story of the apple that put the princess to sleep for a hundred years? Yes, there are some apples have this kind of sedative effect. 
but not enough to put you to sleep though. Maybe that which he make all the concentration <laughs> of the sedative <laughs> quantity of many apples into a pot, you know, and give it to the princess to drink, or, you know, spray it into that apple or something. Yes, yeah, some witch can do this kind of thing. I read one story somewhere that uh, one of the magicians, you know, he, he did not have to cut the, the grapefruit to eat like we do. He just suck out the essence until the, uh, it's no more, and then the grapefruit become flat, dry, nothing left. So maybe that witch who sedates the princess for 100 years for her own vengeance, personal wickedness, <laughs> as she probably condensed all the apple's essence into one apple to give it to her. Now, it is use of magic power, or this wicked power. The power itself is nothing wicked. It's just a person who uses it. Hmm? Okay. Or for different purposes, yeah? Because sometimes the doctor have to use some poisonous medicine to treat you, but in control dose, different than when you take it all and then you die. Huh? Okay. Like people nowadays, sometimes doctors use morphine, yes, to ease your pain to sedate you, something like that. But if you take it every day or on a big dose, then you become addicted, and then you have trouble, mm. physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, psychically, etc. Yes, drinking, smoking, drugging, they damage your psychic power, which we already lost too much. But at least we still have intuition. That is part of psychic power. But if we drink too much, have drug or cigarette, this psychic power will be completely destroyed. You cannot gain back, and next life you come back, you won't even have it anymore. Not like, okay, you rejuvenate it, uh, it's a new rebirth, and then you will rejuvenate back. Whatever you lost, the psychic power, no, you don't. That is a problem. Mm. So many people don't know that. That's why. When people drink, they become like <laughs> in a stupor or something, you know, or drug. They just don't know anything anymore mm. and have hallucination and all that. It's bad for them. And then they become addicted, yeah, and then cannot even escape. Okay, you guys take care so you don't cough. Take care. Maybe ask for some mask or something that keep you warm. The mask also keep the air warm when you breathe in and out. It helps when it's cold. Huh? Okay, but this day was good, and then we say, oh, the weather is so nice, and it's like summer, and then it became cold. I think they heard me, huh? <laughs> Stop it. Stop raining and that until retreat over. <laughs> I don't know if they listen to me. Truly love you, with the human love as well, mm. human heart as well, not just spiritual love. I love you so much, as if you are my family members. Even though we say you are my family members, but I do love you like that, truly like that, like you are my kin, that I could not have enough of you, something like that, yes. And of course, spiritual love lasts longer, <laughs> yeah, okay? That kind of love. Human love I also have, but it won't last long. It lasts only as long as the body lasts. But spiritual love lasts longer and more secure, safe. Guarantee. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for your love that I feel very much, very much. I always feel easy with uh, with you, European people. I don't look like European, though, but I feel good with you. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I think you're easy people, you know, not complicated. And you don't say what you don't mean. You always say what you mean. I like that kind of straightforward mentality. Yeah, <laughs> and also very, very 
simple, honest, yeah? That's what I like, maybe that's why. You don't carry complication within you, you know, the majority, yeah, of uh, European. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Omitovo. <laughs> Đồng chí mình giỏi ha Đúng không? <cười> Ah, my car here? Wonderful. Very good. Oh, I have to go work now again. A lot of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go work again now. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.